So this is just a, a very simple dish. It's haddock, and I've got a bit of a herb crust on there. Can I just leave a twist on there? Yeah. Kale, I love kale. I love kale with fish, I think it's really well. And also, I've got a little bit of a twist, which we'll come on to. So, haddock, let's talk about it. This is MSC registered. That's Marine Stewardship Council registered for st sustainability. Yeah. Try and say that. And will that be on the, on the label? Yes, exactly. MSC. You buy it in a MSC, different... buy it. Okay. But we made a film cut, ooh, five, six years ago for this morning now and went to um, haddock fishing on the boats up in Scotland. Fantastic. And they were, and that's when I had it in the fish and chip shop and I thought, oh my goodness, this is just delicious. Is that what you fell in love with it? I think so, yeah. I just think it, cook a piece of cod in batter, we had it and taste difference. Uh, I, so I think cod's yeah, tasteless, yeah. personally. Mm. Yeah, I do, oh, I compared to haddock. Mm. But anyway, but what I've done is left the skin on, been scared, left the skin on, and it's just like it is, a big chunk of fish, fish like that. Now, bear in mind, when you cook fish, you always undercook it. OK, never overcook it. Oh, it's not very really nice. But so we're going to make a, a topping here with... These are panko breadcrumbs. So they're Japanese breadcrumbs, which are quite panko. crunchy. Panko. So you just feel that, how crunchy they are. But they, oh, yeah. It's a type of bread which just goes nice and crispy. You can use normal breadcrumbs or even fresh ones. And you buy it all crumbs, yeah, do you? Yeah, all through okay. now sell it. Bear in mind, if you're going to use fresh breadcrumbs, they will brown quicker. So you need to be slightly careful. This is the herb crust. So got a few... Uh, bread comes there, any herb you like. I've got a mixture of coriander, basil, chopped chives, in that goes. A bit of pepper, a bit of salt, a little bit of cumin. I put a quarter oh. of a teaspoon of cumin in there. Just gives it a nice background flavour. And then a little bit of any cheese, but I prefer parmesan. OK, you want about... Why, for taste or just...? Yeah, it holds together well right. as well. I quite like feta as well. If you can mm -hmm. crunch it fine enough or grate it fine enough, it's delicious. That acidic kick of feta, I think, works really, really well with fish. Mix it up, and then here's a bit of a tip. I've got one egg white here, just beaten mm. up, and you paint the fish. I'm using a skin side down, but I use the skin yeah. on so you can lift it off. And just paint that on there, and then you pack on the topping, and that stops it falling off when you're cooking it. And just squish it on. Yes. Yeah, well, squish it down. <laughs> squish it. I, I like to... <laughs> That's a technical term. <laughs> squish it. Yeah, you can. Like you that. Go on, Ruth. Oh, Come on. Wash my hands. I'm Don't my worry. Hands. You do just it. press that down. Okay, like so. And it does. It certainly helps hold it on. Now, when I cook fish, I always never use clarified butter. I always use a little bit of fresh butter, a bit of oil. Now, how do you stop it going brown? I was doing something with butter the other day, but it started burning. Well, what you do is you don't cook it too far. Simple as that. Oh, okay. And, and what you must also do is heat the oil, then add the batter like I'm doing now. Oh, I did it together. Yeah. Right, well, OK. So one before the other. Yeah, but also, if you melt it on now and leave it, take the pan off and come back, what happens is the whey burns. So you need to literally... See that there? Mm -hmm. Looking good. And You've got goes. some supermarket deals for haddock there on your screen if you fancy giving this a go this weekend. Right, so here we go. The fish literally just goes into, the, into there like so. Mm -hmm. A little pepper if you want. So skin down. Yes. Yeah. Now what you do is you cook that for two or three minutes. Here I've got either a hot oven or a grill. So you want to cook that. It's a nice action away. on your oven there, Phil. I just noticed that. That was very right. sexy. Good, it? Now do that again, because I'm not sure yeah. people can really... Do that. Look at that. I mean, for a man who's yeah, sure 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 all the things you could be paying attention to <laughs> in the kitchen, that is such a man thing. <laughs> I'm liking the action that, yeah. on your oven door you know, there, Phil. Just, yeah. The, way, the little bit of panache that you did it with as well. <laughs> Never mind what's in it, cooking. <laughs> well, I know I'm like that, though, because I'm not fussy. <laughs> you can cook me what you like. Right, well, that's cooking. Well, yeah, that's bad. See, that's just starting to turn a bit white on the bottom there. So yeah. There. In it goes under the grill or in the oven. Come back to that in a second. Now, here I've got mash. Now, we spoke about mash yes. a couple of weeks ago. Is this, is this actually mash mash or is this from the uh, off the shelf? You can tell me. Am I going to check guess? You're the aficionado. Well, no, because we, 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 no. you, you have a mash that you like. We do. But I'm going to flavour it. Mash. Yes. I'm going to flavour it with black olives. Yes. Never. Ah, now, this is the conversation we had and he got annoyed at me, yeah, but he was saying try it. mash? Feel it cookery? No, frozen mash. Frozen. Oh. Frozen mash pellets. I have to say, my wife did buy them. I didn't okay. do that. She bought them home and said, What is that? I'm like, Sure, it's really nice, but it's frozen. And I have to say. And you've been sold good. ever since. Was it good? Yeah. Oh, I'm going to try that then. It was pretty good. All right. I'll tell you what happened afterwards. But anyway, in the mash here, I've got black olives. Mm -hmm. Nice. A little bit of chopped onion. In that goes. And just mix that up. And I love black olives in mash. We used to do a skate dish years ago. Oh, I love skate. Skate, black olive mash. And we used to put a little bit of kale, like we've got this mm. one here. And all I've done here is I've slightly overcooked kale. Now, kale, why have you done that? Because I think it's one of those vegetables that needs because it. Because it's chewy, like yes. animal feed. I don't yeah, like it. Yeah, I agree. Well, Ruth, you're bang don't, on I there. I don't like it. It's, it's I've one... tried. I've tried really hard to like kale. I've given up now. Just well, have a little taste of that. Yeah. That's lovely. I, I'm, I'm slightly over, big. slightly overcooked because it's not like chewing grass. 
So if you overcook it, it's much it's just much a softer. Than... Just a fraction. I like that. And you've got yeah, the butter on it chewy. as well, isn't there? Right. So I'm not sure about the flavour. Let's go to a quick recap and then you yeah. can have a taste. See the black olive. Mix the herbs, cheese, cumin and salt together with the breadcrumbs. Brush the top of the fish with a little beaten egg white. This helps keep the crust to stay in place and season well. Then pack on the crust, pressing down slightly. Fry the fish in oil and butter, skin side down for two to three minutes. Transfer to the grill or hot oven and cook for a further four to five minutes until evenly brown and just cooked through. Remove, keep warm and rest for five minutes. Mash the potatoes with the milk and the butter. Add the olives along with the onion and season with salt and pepper. Serve the fish next to the black olive mash with a little sautéed kale. There it is. So that's been resting for five minutes. So how long about under the grill? Oh, God, three or four minutes maximum. And then you rest it like meat. Leave it to rest. OK. Now, I'm always worried about things going cold, no, though, resting them. No, Stop talking, ridiculous. I want to eat it. Oh, now, sorry. Here I've got a little tip here. This is some candied lemon I made earlier, and the candied lemon just works on the bit of the mash over that. That brings just a little all those sniff. together. You with your candied lemon. What about the parmesan? Is that going on? Or you don't know No, that it? was just a bit of that a... That was in your crust. That's just to look good. Yeah. But the, the whole point is it's not overcooked. It's very it meaty rest. fish, isn't yes. it? Yes. But you must let it rest. That's the key to that. Just a little bit. It does have a much stronger flavour than cod, doesn't it, Hannah? Absolutely. I like all the crust of the herbs. 